In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys about a new widget in Takinter called Scrolled Text. Now, chances are that you didn't know this widget existed. Neither did I until a few days ago. But apparently, this widget actually exists. It's just stored somewhere a bit, you know, in a different module in Takinter because it's not actually a standard widget. It's actually a combination of two standard widgets, which is the text widget and the scroll bar widget. This widget, scroll text, it doesn't bring in anything new. It's actually just for ease of use. It's for convenience. You know when we want to show a text widget and we want to display a lot of text in it? So then we need to implement a scroll bar. But, you know, that's a bit annoying. You need to create two separate widgets and then you need to combine them. I mean, you know, connect them. And that can get a little annoying. But the scroll text widget here, it combines them both into one widget. And it's really easy to use and much faster. Let's take a look at that. Okay, I'm going to create it right here, tk.tk. .tk. This is our application, root.main loop to set it up. And then I'm going to create our widget. We'll call it scrolled text, okay, but underscore. Okay, then we'll create our widget. And over here, we're going to pass in root as the parent. Then we specify the width, okay, just like we do in the text widget, which can be 50. Then we'll specify the height, which is the number of rows, by the way, and width is the number of characters in a line, okay. The height can be 10, 10 rows. Then we're just going to pack this in, okay. And that's it. That's it. Watch. This is our widget, and you can see the scroll bar over there. Okay, and this is our text widget. We can go ahead and type in over here. Okay, pretty cool, right? Now, this is all there was to this video, really, but I'm going to show you guys, for those of you who are not familiar with the text widget or the scroll bar widget, I'm going to show you guys a few things, uh, you know, how to use this widget, because actually, because this widget is actually, uh, you know, it inherits, if you look at the code, the source code for this widget, you'll notice that it actually inherits from the text widget. So every single method that works on the text widget is actually going to work on scroll text. And hold on, let me just try something here. All right, good. We can view the source code right here. So this is the scroll text widget. It inherits from text, and this is where it creates the scroll bar for you. Okay, you can access it actually, you know, using dot v bar, and you can also call any functions on the scroll bar that you want to if you want to configure it that is so we can just do something like scroll text dot v bar and then do something okay you can even see here it says scroll bar okay and this is just the basic code here you can see that it takes care of all this for you okay but anyways back to this i'm just going to show you guys something okay just some basic functions we have the insert function that we can use and then we can do tk.insert. The first uh, parameter for this function is actually where you want to insert the text. Okay. Uh, and this means that it's where the insert cursor is. The insert cursor is this, you know, my, my mouse cursor. You, you see the icon that it is right now. That's the insert cursor. I'm just going to copy paste this text in here and run our code. And you'll notice that our widget now has this text. Oh, and it, it doesn't expand currently. That's my bad. We'll take care of that right now. tk.boat expand is equal to true and run our code. And there we go. Cool. Oh, all right. Pretty cool, right? So what else can we do? Well, we can also delete text. Okay. Dot delete. And this takes two indices. So we can do 1.0. Okay, I'm just writing the indices out. This is the first line and zeroth character. The first integer here stands for the line. And after the dot, the integer after the dot stands for the corrector. So this would mean, for example, uh, the, from the first line and the second corrector onwards. And this is going to do, this is going to delete the four characters or three. I'm not sure. Okay. I know this, some, some, some of this is a bit confusing, but if you want to see the whole, the full versions of this, then go watch my videos on the text widget and the scroll bar widget, okay? I'll include links to them in the description below. 
But over here, you can see that the words R, E, and M were deleted. Three letters were deleted. So I guess this is uh, inclusive of the start and exclusive of the end. Okay, that's fairly standard in Takinter. All right, so what else can we do? Well, we can also disable this if we, if we want to and turn it into a read-only mode. Okay, state is equal to disabled. And it's not disabled. Was it config? Ah, wait, it is disabled. Yeah, I can't, I can't actually edit this anymore. Yeah, cool. So that's just it. Let's end the video right here. Again, if you want to see more uh, methods and different ways that we can actually use these widgets, I'll include a few links in the in the description below, as well as uh, a project or two that I made, a taking trip project or two that uses this widget, the text widget and scroll bar widget, if you're interested to see how this can actually be practically used. All right.